My name is Mrs. Kent. I'm a teacher at Juniata Gap Elementary School. Welcome to my classroom at home. I'm so glad you're here to join me. I couldn't wait for us to get together to do some math work. So I was thinking, maybe we could start with something that we all do with our teachers at the beginning of math class. Let's count. Hmm, do you think we could count to 50? I think we're up for the challenge. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Wow, awesome job. We are going to use those counting skills we just practiced in a new way. We are going to learn how to count around a dial. We're also going to revisit our friends, plus puff and minus mouse. Now, while I pull up our dial, I want you to be thinking about what plus puff and minus mouse would tell us to do. Okay, here's our dial. I took this one from a game called Skating Party. Notice that a dial goes in a circle. It starts at zero and counts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then notice what happens when it gets to nine. It goes back to zero and starts counting again. You may have seen a dial if you look at a clock, or maybe if you play a game that has a spinner, that could be a dial also. So today we're not just going to count around our dial, we are going to use plus one and minus one. So that's why I wanted you to think about what plus puff and minus mouse told you to do. Let's think about plus puff. What did plus puff tell us to do? Yeah, if you said add one more or move forward, you're exactly right. What about minus mouse? What did he tell us to do? Yeah, awesome. Minus mouse. I always think of minus mouse as a little mouse stealing the cookies from the cookie jar. Minus mouse tells us to take one away or to move backwards one. So we are going to use our card and we have plus one and we have minus one in this deck. And we also need to have we also need to have a game piece. So let's get some game pieces up here. There we go. And I'm going to put one of these pawns on zero to start. And I'm going to deal a card here. And it tells us we have plus one. So let's think back to plus puff. And we said that plus puff tells us to add one more or to move forward one space. So I'm going to move forward one space. Now, when I move, I want to say start where my pawn is to help me remember to start. Start, and then I'm going to count. Ready, start, one. So I move forward one space, and I move to the number one. Hmm, let's try another one. What if somebody was on number seven, and they had a plus one? Okay, let's think. We have plus one, plus pop told us to, hmm. Exactly, he said move forward one space. So if we move forward one space, remember we're going this direction is forward, so one space. So we pick up our pawn, we say start one, and we land on what number? Eight, exactly right, very good. Okay, let's see if we can find a minus card. 
Okay, let's use a new person here, a new pawn. What if we were on number three and we had a minus one card? Okay, I'm gonna think back to minus mouse and how he loves taking the cookies from the cookie jar. Well, he tells us to go backward one space. So remember, when we go backward, we're going this direction, backward, okay? So if I'm here, I'm going to pick up my pawn, I'm gonna say start, and I'm gonna count backward one. And I landed on what number? Yeah, I landed on two. Okay, let's see if you can do one of these. Let's see, what if you were on zero and you got minus one? I want you to try this one. Tremendous, exactly. If you're on zero and you minus one, you're going to count back one and you would land on nine. Oh, you are blowing me out of the water. Okay, let's see. I think you are ready for a challenge. So let's do, let's do some more difficult numbers. What if we did, I think you should do the plus two and minus two. Okay. We need our pawns back here. Make sure we have our little people ready to go. There we go. Okay, so let's have this pawn start on, let's start on eight. And if we plus two, now remember, it's just like plus plus, we're still doing the same thing. We're still moving forward, but this time we're gonna move two spaces. So this is telling us move forward two spaces. So watch, start, one, two. So my pawn would land on zero. Okay, it's your turn. Let's say, let's have you start on four. And remember, you get a plus two. I wanna see if you can remember how to do this. Yes. Okay, so you said start, one, two, and you landed on six. Give yourself a pat on the back. That was exactly right. Okay, let's see what's next. We have a minus two. We just got rid of our little people here. Okay, so let's have I'm going to start my minus one. I'm going to start it on. I think I'll start on six. Okay. So my pawn is on six, and I'm going to minus two. This is just like minus mouse. I'm still going backward, but this time I'm going to go two spaces backward. So I always say start, and then I start counting. Start, one, two backwards would take me to number four. Okay, so I'm going to pick a new pawn up here. I want you to practice this one. I'm going to have you start on number eight. So if your person's on number eight and you have minus two, where do you think you would land? Wow, you're exactly right. Yeah, we would say start, one, two, and you would land on six. You did such an amazing job. I think you're ready to go off on your own and practice some of these. If you go look at your activity board, on the back of it, there is a picture of a dial. Now, you can use whatever you want to show where to start. You could use a piece of cereal. You could use a piece of paper. You could use a pawn from one of the games that you have at home or you could just use your finger to point to where you start. The important thing is that you remember to say start before you count and do what that card is telling you to do. There are questions for each day of the week, and those questions will tell you whether you have the plus one, minus one, plus two, or minus two. And you're going to write your answer down where you landed on that dial for each of those questions. I think you're going to have fun playing with the dial this week. I am so happy that you came to share this time with me to do some math problems. I can't wait to meet with you again.
have a great week. Happy learning.